Hey, what's going on, fam? So, I'm starting to get a little concerned. I actually am going to release this video first. I'm going to release two videos. I'm releasing two videos tonight. I'm actually going to release this video first now that I've thought about it. The last video, I just made it, and I said I was going to, you know, release another video at the end of that video. However, I've decided now that I'm going to flip the order. So, when you hear this video first, and then you hear the second video, and it sounds like I'm about to release another video, just know that I've already released that video. Because I'm releasing this, that video that I said I was going to release, it's this video. So, just know that when you hear I, I'm said I'm going to actually have to make a video or referring to Tariq, understand that this is that video. But I'm releasing this video first because I know I've been doing a lot of defending of Tariq. And I know that there were some people or maybe even a lot of people on my channel who were kind of more so Yvette Carnell supporters. And uh, even if they weren't Yvette Carnell supporters, they are now. Like it's kind of taking her side instead of Tariq's side. In this whole divide between them. And I know that that has caused some of you to leave my channel. Which honestly some of you should have left my channel. Uh, but others maybe. Maybe I, I'm starting to see some of the things that you said too. Or I, I am kind of seeing some of the things that you may have been seeing in Tariq. What I mean is that. Not that. I've all, I've had my my share of disagreements with Tariq. I've kind of verbalized them in other videos. If you really listen to my videos, I've verbalized my disagreement, especially in my video. I think about the ADOS FBA divide, or, or if not that that video, the video before it. Um, I've said some things, you know, that I, I don't agree with Tariq. And even in my uh, ADOS versus Pan Africanism video, I said I don't agree with Tariq on everything. Let me go ahead and stop being vague and say what I mean. So, there are other issues that I don't agree with Tariq on. However, I was willing to overlook those things. And I'm still willing to overlook those things. But there are things that I don't agree with Tariq on. I'm just trying to make that point. Um, I also want to make the point that, because I know some people are going to get the impression that I'm just this Tariq stan and I can't see it. He can do no wrong in my eyes. That's not true. For example... I see Tariq tonight, and this is why I'm making this video, because it's concerning me. I understand why Tariq has a problem with a vet. I still stand in tone. I still stand on everything I've said in defense of Tariq. I still think that a vet in tone started this over fake outrage. I'm very adamant that they started this whole divide in our community over fake outrage. However, despite their fake outrage, I'm going to be disappointed in Tariq if he feels like he has to resort to ADOS's MAGA tactics in order to discredit a vet in tone. What do I mean? Tonight, obviously I follow Tariq on Twitter. Tonight I see him retweeting these ADOS's MAGA, ADOS's trash accounts. And he's retweeting these accounts because they're producing clips of Yvette Carnell saying things that are extremely suspect and questionable. Now, let me say this. Those clips of Yvette are kind of indefensible, even from the ADOS crowd. There, she's talking, she's defen she's talking about how racism is anti-racism is trash. She's talking about how black people don't need a check as far as reparations go. She's like almost like she's against cut the check. It's a bad look. But as much as I've been criticizing Yvette lately, and as bad as these videos look, I cannot in my integrity jump on these videos with fake outrage because exactly what Tariq is doing to Yvette is exactly what people have done to Tariq. People pull clips of Tariq saying that only male-headed households should receive reparations. That is extremely pro problematic, even for the most 
ardent B1, 80, you know, FBA, pro Tariq Nasheed supporter. That is a problematic statement. Now, again, when these clips are put out, I dismiss them because I understand people grow, people change, people have different views, people evolve. But that goes for Yvette too. You can't drag up clips that are clearly old, clips when Yvette had a full head of hair, and try to use that as propaganda as to why she should not be back. Especially from Tariq, of all people. Because it's done to you all the time. This ADOS is MAGA stuff. That is definitely a pro-Democrat hashtag that was attempting to force people in the ADOS movement to stick to Democrats. And if you don't, we're going to call you Republicans. I was saying how a vet and the people that are coming from her camp are doing to Tariq exactly what Talib did to, to Yvette. Because people are saying that anything that sounds like you might support Trump, I mean, or anything that critiques Democrats, because that's what Tariq was doing, anything that critiques Democrats is automatic support of, of Republicans or sounds like support of Republicans. So we can't have that and we got to be policing each other on that. And I still stand on that being ridiculous. And that's why I said I still stand on a vet and tone having fake outrage. And I don't. That's why I'm not going to retract any of my old videos. Because I pretty I still stand on everything I said critiquing them. But now I have I have no choice but to, cr to critique Tariq. And I don't want to, especially in this time that I feel like he was unfairly ambushed by a vet and tone. I really don't want to have to critique him at this time of all times, but I have no choice because I cannot support Tariq retweeting ADOS's MAGA trolls. He's now retweeting Boyce. Y'all know from other videos I've called Boyce Joyce. He did that messy stuff with Tariq and that Jay Morrison stuff, trying to instigate a, a bigger beef there. So I don't like Boyce slash Joyce. I don't trust him at all. So now he's citing him as a source. And, and, and even though I don't like him and I don't trust Boyce, I wouldn't necessarily fault Tariq for retweeting Boyce alone. But when you retweet Boyce and you're retweeting ADOS is MAGA trolls, I have to draw a line. I can't support that. And it makes me wonder if this whole thing is about to go downhill. A vet in tone they can't be trusted because they don't understand white supremacy Tariq, i don't i i hope that this is just a one-off and he kind of you know cleans it up or still kind of watches his sources or watches this kind of stuff that he tries to use against a vet tries to be a little bit more careful about whatever he's looking for to use against a vet and and not lose his integrity in an attempt to retaliate against a vet but if this if this continues, I'm gonna have to not only be not only not be able to trust Yvette and Tone, but now I can't trust Tariq fully. And I know I don't know any of these people, I don't have any personal relationships, but I mean trust them as figureheads and as people to listen to and as people whose advice we should be following. But anyway, again, this is not a, a video meant to attack Tariq. Hell, I really didn't even want to have to attack a Tone and Vet, but I know my videos more so came off as attacks. But I really feel like they they started this. I know people are just say, oh, that's a fifth grade argument. No, it's not. Because reality is they did start this. This movement would not be imploding before our eyes, because that's what I feel like it's doing. It's imploding before our eyes. If it wasn't for a Vet and Tone having the fake outrage. So I'm still kind of more upset with them. And that's kind of what made me basically attack them, even though I didn't really want to attack them. And I was hoping that it wouldn't really come off as an attack, but I know it kind of did. And, and, it, and, it, and to be honest, it, 
it kind of was, but it was really just calling him out for what I felt like was wrong. So I wasn't really trying to attack them. I was trying to attack their behavior and their actions and my problems with them. But on the other hand, again, I have integrity. I stand in my integrity. So in my integrity, I cannot, I cannot support Tariq or continue to defend him if he continues to use ADOS's MAGA sources to discredit Yvette Carnell. But anyway, as I said, fam, at the beginning of the video, this video is actually made before, I mean, not before, after a vid the next video I'm going to release. And that video is yet another critique of tone in particular. Um, but just understand, because I want it to be known that I'm fair and balanced. So just understand that I'm releasing this one first, just so that the people who were kind of having a problem with Tariq, uh, you know that I'm, I'm fair about this. I'm I'm not just some Tariq Stan who goes along along with whatever he says. If I see Tariq do something that I feel like is not right, at the very least I'm not going to go out go along with it. If I feel like it's bad enough, I'll call it out public, publicly or voice my disagreement publicly. I preach like I said in my original video uh where I was kind of coming at Yvette in tone I said I appreciate the work they've done. I appreciate the value they've brought to the discussion. I appreciate them creating the AD ADOS hashtag and the ADOS term. And again, I appreciate Tariq for everything he's done as far as hidden colors and just all his shows ed educating black people about racism, all his broadcasts, all his lectures. All his tweets. I thank the brother for the work that he's done. So. Uh, but at the same time. That don't mean I go along with you. Just because you're you. Or just because you've done good things in the past. But that. Also. Uh, makes me want to close the video with a, a thought. For uh, us. This is a lesson fam. This whole ADOS versus FBA. This is a lesson that black people can't have leaders. The ADOS slash FBA movement. We emphasize that we don't have leaders. And I think this is the ancestors testing us. To see are y'all really serious? Are y'all really ready to not have leaders? Let's see. I, and that's what I'm starting to think now is that that's the ancestor saying, hey, if you are you guys really not ready to have leaders? So this is the test. Whether we go forward, whether a vet tone Tariq get along ever again or not, whether they continue to attack each other, whether Tariq goes left or he gets back on the right track, whether a vet and tone go left or they get back on the right track or not. This is about us, the people. We have to stay on code. We know what we deserve. We know what the problem is, which is white supremacy. We know that our identity as black Americans is being erased. Our history, our heritage, our lineage is at stake. Our existence in this country is at, is at stake. Justice for black people in this country and then yes eventually all across the globe, but we got to get our house in order first in America Is at stake here and that's what we got to stay on code for we got to stay on code for justice for us And for justice for our children grandchildren and great-grandchildren for all the black people in America And all the black people across this world and across this planet We got to stay on code we know the agenda. The agenda is reparations in America, black agenda in America, justice in America, and then justice for black people worldwide. And again, black people in Ghana, you you can get justice in Ghana. Black people in South Africa, you need to focus on getting justice in South Africa. And then once we all get our 
regional justice, then we can get global justice. But anyway, fam, um, again, like, share, subscribe. Uh, this is just kind of telling us where we're at, fam. This is part of the journey. So anyway, peace.